reach out to Ray. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, reach out to Ray. Hello everyone, you're welcome to today's class. Uh, today we'll be starting with calligraphy as you can see on the board. And then you know what calligraphy is? It simply means good handwriting. Is okay? Is that okay? Very wonderful, children. And this subject, calligraphy, is very, very important because we can use it to deal with all the subjects, isn't it? In numeracy, we have calligraphy. In grammar, we have calligraphy. In understanding the world, we have calligraphy and every other subject too. Today, we'll be working with the sitting letters as outlined on the board. These letters are 14 in number and we'll be beginning with the letter C. Is that okay? But before we proceed from this, I would like you to know that the paper we are using to write today is different from the small book. Is that okay? The small book has guided lines, but the book we have over there is the normal book we use in class to copy our notes. So when you are writing in this book, you should simply know that from one, this line to this point, simply cover the three lines you have in the other book. The other book has the red line, the blue line, and the blue line. So, one line is missing here. That line is meant to run in the center from one end to the other. That line in this book is simply called the imaginary line. It means that when you are doing all your sitting letters, you should have it at the back of your mind that there's a line running between the two lines from one end to the other. That line is, line is called imaginary line. You should always have it at the back of your mind. Think it. Is that okay, friends? So we are starting with the letter C. As I told you earlier on, that letter C begins from the center of the line because all sitting letters goes from the imaginary point to sit on the last line. And this is the imaginary point. Take it up from there, curve to sit, and raise it up. Can we see how the letter is written? Very good. And the second sound there is A. Ah. I want to take the K once again from this point. Take it up. Drop it to sit and raise it up slightly. Is that okay? Then the next sound we have there is A. Ah. Can we all see the A ah sound? Lovely children. The A ah sound, you begin it with the K from this point up. Call to sit, get back to where you started and drop to sit and a flick. Can we see that? Wonderful children. And what we have next as our sitting letter, we have what? E. Very good. E sound goes from the last blue line up to the center of the line, which is the imaginary point. And then you come it back to where you started and you simply raise it up. Is that okay, friends? Lovely children. And the next letter is E sound. The E sound is simply a short stroke and a dot. Begin from the imaginary point, stroke it straight to sit, and then give it a flick and a dot. Is that okay? Mmm, lovely children. Mm. It's also simple. You start with a short stroke down to sit. On that same stroke, you trace it back to a point. You divert to make a curve down. And then on that same line, and you also make another curve down and a flick. Is that okay, friends? Lovely. And the next sound we have is what? Mm, lovely children. Your mm, sound start from the same spot and then down to sit, trace it back to a point and then give it a curve down to sit and a flick. Note, your antenna must be conspicuous. Can we see the antenna over there? Lovely children. And the next sound is oh, all sound. If you know how to make your C sound, just link it up and you have your all sound. From this point, take it up drop down to sit and join where you started you have your all sound is that okay friends now we are moving on to a more tricky letter which is R. R is so simple and then watch how i'm going to do it from this spot take it down to sit up to this point to your right and then drop slightly and a little flick is that okay R. From this spot, take it up and then curve to sit. You have to write your such that if you cut it right at the center, the part up and the part down should be same. Remember, it's up to the imaginary point. Is that okay? Then the next sound is umbrella or from the imaginary point, which is the center of the line, you drag it and the curve to sit up and then trace it on that same line and give it a flick. That's lovely. And then we have our v, 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 v. 
It's a slanting one from the center of the line to sit. You give it another slant to the right and then a flick. That's fantastic. And we move on to the next letter, which is what? We can make two small v to give us our. And it goes this way, down to sit. A smaller one, down to sit. And another small one and a flick. Is that okay, friends? Lovely ones. And then, the x. We have to start with slants to the left. And then another slanting stroke to the right to sit. And then give it a flick. And the last sound in this category is simply zzz, zzz. Remember, I told us to start from the imaginary point, which is the center of the line. A short dash. A slanting one to sit. And another short dash to the right. These are what we call the sitting letters. And you have seen how I've written these letters, isn't it? Now, what you are going to do for me, is that okay? In your notebook you have with you, just create a page, one page. Is that okay, friends? And then you are going to make five letters on a line. Is that okay? It means that on your page, your five letters will begin from the C. Make sure you space your letters. Very good. And then you have your A. Good. You have your E. Lovely children. And then you have your E at this spot to sit. And a dot. And you have your M. Mm. That's for one page you are going to do as a, an activity for me. And then you can copy that and finish a page. When you are done with one page, take the next five letters, create another page, and then copy them down that same way. By the time you finish writing all the letters, the last set of letters will be four. And then make it on a page too and make sure you finish it. Make sure you do it. The way Mr. T has taught you, is that okay? I'll be very glad to see all of you write very, very well. Thank you so much for the attention. Bye. Meet you in the next class.